The guy upstairs. Sometimes I hear that sound, like something's being dragged. It sounds too light to be a couch, but too heavy to be a chair. If I were to make an assumption, drag, drag, it's around the weight of a human body. Now nah, must be a sack of rice or something. Let's just focus on the assignment. The guy who lives upstairs, I've only seen him twice. The first time was when I had to use the stairs because the elevator was broken. The second time, I accidentally went to the 13th floor, the floor above my apartment. He was making out with the long-haired lady. Oh, already. <laughs> It was so awkward. I quickly went down before he noticed me. I wonder what he does for a living. The guy's mysterious. Oh, I should sleep. It's morning. Oh, I'm tired. Feels like I didn't get any rest at all. Shh. I'm too tired to walk to the bus stop. Uh, should I just call a grab? Oh, uh, 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 uh. uh, hello? Anyone home? I'm not mistaken, the sound is coming from this apartment. <laughs> Excuse me, please answer. Are you in need of any help? If you're not, I'll leave. What am I doing? I don't even know this person. And I need to get ready for school anyway. But if something really bad has happened, I would regret not doing anything, wouldn't I? Excuse me, I'm going to count to 10. If you don't answer in 10 seconds, I'm calling the police. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. I wouldn't do that if I were you. May I know what business you have standing in front of my door? It's kind of an attitude. Oh! Uh, uh, sorry, I heard a weird sound, so uh, I thought someone might need help or something. Weird sound, huh? That must be Milo. Milo? Yeah, my cat Milo. She always makes noise when she's hungry. Look, I still have the scratch she gave me. She's a bit naughty, you know? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I see. Well, I'm glad it's not, it's nothing serious. Yeah. Then please excuse me. Wait. You live right below me, right? I'll see you around. Huh? Oh, okay. Something feels off about that guy for some reason. guy upstairs they're not done using the classroom yet let's just wait a weird cat sound yeah from the apartment upstairs the guy who lives there says it was a cat but it didn't sound like one what did it sound like well hmm like that huh uh, I'm bad at impersonations, but it sounded weird for sure. My grandpa keeps a lot of cats in his house. Some cats really do make weird sounds. I found this video on YouTube. Look, this cat sounds like a duck. Huh? What the heck? So it's totally normal, huh? I got worried for nothing. You're the type who gets paranoid easily. There's also this cat that sounds like... How up? Morning. Nice dress you got there. Oh, thank you. Always looking fancy, huh? Hey, don't tease her like that. What? That's just a compliment. <laughs> Morning, Hawa. Hey. Morning, Anissa. Christine. Did you finish the assignment? I'm only halfway through. Damn, I haven't even started. I've been friends with Hawa since high school. She's bubbly and friendly with everyone. On top of that, she has pretty face and a nice figure. Even her voice is gentle and soothing. 
She was so popular that she was nicknamed Princess back then. So we decided to have the department party at the end of this month. Are you two coming, Rosie? I'm sorry, I have a part-time job, so、uh, then I'm not going to. Sorry about that. You could have just go if you wanted to. I'm sure they'd be happy to have you there. Nah, I don't want to leave you out. Besides, we can just have a party at my house whenever you're free, of course. Hello, can I ask a few things? Sure, what is it? They always stick together, don't they? I heard they've been friends since high school. Don't you think they're way too close, different to be that close? The girl with the glasses is too quiet, kind of antisocial. Hey, what if she actually blackmailed Hawa into being our friend? What a bit. Or, or it could be the other way around. <laughs> That's just more messed up. Sometimes people talk behind our back, just because we're different. But to throw accusation, that's but you know, that's a bit too far. Hey, hey, you girls, gossiping is not cool. And could you be any louder? I think the whole building could hear you at this point. Or was that what you intended? Um, 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 um. And Rosie's not that bad, okay? If you look at her closely, she's cute like a puppy, and she has a heart like an angel. All right, that's enough. I appreciate it, but don't just butt in like that. But, and you, I had just rejected you, didn't I? Don't be so friendly with me. Hmm. And I'm not going to give up, of course. I'll make you fall head over heels for me in no time. <sighs> so persistent. Persistent is my middle name. This guy's Ravi. Ravi. Sorry, Ravi. I mean, sorry, Ravi. <laughs> For some unknown reason, he's interested in me. His over friendliness is annoying, though. Hey, Robbie, not giving up, huh? Good luck, bro. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Don't encourage him. Why do you like me so much, anyway? Huh? I don't think I've done anything that would catch anyone's attention in particular. It's because we're meant to be. Did you notice our name initials both start with R? Huh? Even our real name syllables are both three: Ravindran and Rosanna. Ah, no, don't do that. Don't call me by my real name. Rosie's fine. Just call me Rosie, huh? But Rosanna sounds pretty, doesn't? Rosanna. Ah, stop. That name is old-fashioned and tacky as hell. Rosanna. Rosanna. Stop. I'll punch you if you don't stop. Does she like her friend?、Hmm. Really? Rosie heard a weird sound coming from neighbor's house upstairs. Yeah, but the neighbor said it was a cat. Why are you telling him? It sounds like this. <coughs> right, Rosie? Um. Oh yeah. Like someone's tied up with their mouth covered. Um. Rosie, I don't want to say this, but that neighbor of yours is probably a serial killer. But fret not, because your prince charming is here to protect you. Please don't joke about that. A serial killer who lives in the same shabby apartment as me? Yeah, right. If you had time to go around and kill people, might as well just get a job and bring a lot of money. Oh, <laughs> are you okay? Are you feeling sick? Nah, the room's just cold. Cute sneeze. When I think about it, you're not wearing jacket today. Yeah, I forgot it. Oh, oh, thanks. That's all for the class. I need to head out now. See ya. Okay. Ah,、uh, Rosie, you look pale. My head hurts. Is it too cold? Let's go outside. Your head feels hot. It's probably a fever. Want to go to the clinic? Nah, I'm okay. I slept at 3 a.m. last night to finish my assignments. 
It's probably that. Hey, um, can't you take a break from your part-time job today? Your headache could get worse. I can't. I already took a lot of breaks last midterm. This headache will go away in no time anyway. Don't worry about me. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, take care. You take the bedroom. Bathroom. Scrub, 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 scrub. Ah! Blurry. Ma'am? Uh, can I go back early today? I'm not feeling well. Take these meds. We have five more rooms to clean tonight. Damn. Okay. Scrub, scrub. <sighs> Look, is she drunk? <laughs> Let's take a video. <laughs> She's gonna report you. <laughs> I'm not drunk. Damn it. I really hate being seen as vulnerable. Ding. They're gone. I don't want to bump into those guys again. Let's avoid 8th floor from now on. Beep. Can't wait to take bath and go to sleep. I'm all sweaty and sticky. Ding. Alright, I haven't done the laundry. I could just wear yesterday's t-shirt tonight, but what do I wear to class tomorrow? I'll have to go to the laundromat first thing tomorrow morning. I hope I manage to wake up early. Jeez, this headache is so troublesome. Ah, Huh? Huh? This isn't my house. Are you feeling better now? Let's head back inside. You haven't eaten anything, haven't you? I'll make you something. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, why is the door open? Oh, oh? Oh, hold up. <laughs> cough. Oh, cough. Um. Ah, um. Ah, um. Stroke. Ah, 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 ah. There, there. Let it all out. Ah, ah, ah. Are you right now? Shall we head back inside? You, you say you haven't had the chance to eat anything, right? I'll make you something. Shoot, what I do now? I was so lost in my thoughts, I didn't even realize I entered the wrong house. Be careful when walking. Thank you. You're too kind. <sighs> Damn it. What do I do now? If they see me, they're totally going to misunderstand. How do I get out of this situation? Sorry for suddenly running out like that. Don't worry. I was just surprised, that's all. Actually, if you need to throw up, you could just use the bathroom. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want you to have to clean up after me. I'm worthless anyway. What's up with the sudden self self degrading, huh? This isn't like you. I I found out that I'm pregnant. I told my boyfriend, but he wasn't pleased about it. And then and then today, he brought another woman home to meet me. Uh oh. That's terrible. Here, have some water. After that, I didn't think much. I immediately ran away from home. That was around the time I called you. Sorry. Hey, don't worry about that. I told you, didn't I? You could have rely on me if you ever needed help. That's why I gave you my number in the first place. Sorry, miss. I shouldn't be eavesdropping, but if your boyfriend dared to pull such a stunt... He was saying he didn't want you anymore. I thought something was off about that guy. But maybe he's a kind person after all. Anyway, I'll take my chance to get out when they're leaving or sleep. Let's just take some time to rest and cool my head. Yeah. Hopefully they don't find me until then. Hey, am I not pretty? Oh my god. Huh? 
the woman he brought home, she's young and gorgeous. Compared to her, I'm an old hag. I have a timid personality too. I bet she was making fun of me behind my back. <laughs> if that's what's bothering you, let me just say this. You're pretty. I didn't have the chance to tell you before. But you caught my attention the moment I laid my eyes on you. I especially like your hair. They're smooth and silky. The prettiest I've ever seen. Really? You really think so? Huh? Yes, but there's something missing. You'd be prettier if you're covered in blood. What? What are you? What was that? Something fell? Huh? Blood? Yes, just like that. The crimson red of your blood soaking your hair is an amazing sight. Huh? W what's this? You're protecting your baby? <laughs> you don't need it anymore. <laughs> Her body's still moving, she's still alive, but he cut her throat so she wouldn't be able to scream. Turns. Gets up. He, he's coming here! Shoot! He's gonna kill me! Just the broom, huh? Please, don't look out the window. My hands are trembling like crazy, I'm gonna fall. Runs, wipes, hmm? Step, step. Shoot, 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 he's walking towards the direction. I got no chance, I have to climb down. Maybe I'll be able to reach my room. Oh! Oh! Ah! Eek! <gasps> oh! Oh! Isn't that the guy upstairs? Like what you read? Stay subscribed. Yo! Yo! Wait, so he saw her. She's already caught. She's literally the next target. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> ah! Rosie? Hawa, you're awake. Are you okay? I'm worried sick. Oh, this is... We're at the hospital. Hospital? Yeah, you've been unconscious since last night. Are you looking for your glasses? Here. It's all broken though. But I think the frame is still fine. So, you need to replace the lenses. Flash. Ah! Uh, Rosie, wait here. I'll call the doctor. Wait! What, what what happened to me? You passed out on the way to your apartment and hit your head. Then one of your neighbors found you and brought you to hospital. My neighbor? Yes, he is. Sorry for the wait. Here's the coffee. Oh, you're awake. How are you feeling? String. Yeah! 
What 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 happened? Is the patient weak? Stay stay away from me, doctor. Arrest that guy quick. Uh huh. Him? Why? Why? Rosie, how I come here? Don't get close to him. That that he's he's a murderer. Smart thing to do, like um, a, a murderer. <laughs> him? Yes, I, I saw everything. He he killed someone right in front of my eyes. If you don't arrest him now, he's gonna kill me too. Oh uh, um, what what she said? Oh sorry, I'm confused too. Um, is there a chance her brain created a false memory or something? Coffee? Well, I mean, she did hit her head quite badly, so there's a possibility. Maybe she had a nightmare and couldn't distinguish her dreams from reality. What the hell are you talking about? It's not a dream or false memory, it's real! Rosie, hear me out. That guy, he was the one who found you unconscious. Then he carried you by himself to the ER. If it were not for his quick response, something worse could have happened to you. He... he brought me here? Yeah, the hospital couldn't contact your guardians, so they called me instead. Oh, and they had to go through your phone, sorry. If you really saw him kill someone, I think the hospital would be the last place he'd bring you to. <sighs> but, but... It felt so real. It can't be a dream, no way. It's impossible. Um, Abbott, calm down a bit. Let's just do a quick checkup. No. Uh-uh. Where's my phone? I'm calling the police. Oh, uh, so, um, let me get this straight. Last night, you witnessed him killing someone in his house, which you accidentally went into in the first place. After that, he found you injured and unconscious and brought you to the ER. And you woke up this morning, called the police while the murderer himself waited for the cops to arrive without any resistance. Man, you're just, you're the most well-behaved criminal I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You know, there seems to be a misunderstanding, you know. There's no misunderstanding. I, I'm sure of it. I saw him use a kitchen knife to stab a pregnant woman. If, if you if you wait, I could even tell you that he did it last night in detail. Oh, jeez. I mean, like, can you calm down? Like, don't scream into my ears. Um, I'm not deaf, you know. Like, I got two ears. Uh. Kids these days, they just don't disrespect the elders, you know? A anyway, I wasn't lying, please believe me. If you search this house, I'm sure you're gonna find something. I don't mind. <laughs> you don't need a warrant. Well then. Miss? You don't have to follow us here. You live downstairs, right? You may go home. Let me. I need to show where and how exactly murder happened. Very well. It's bothering me. Why is he so calm? The cops are here in this. I'm about to expose him. With that innocent face and innocent act. No wonder no one believes me. To think it's the same person I saw last night. If the cops weren't here, I would drag how and run away. We're here. Click. Keep going. Keep going. Not stopping. Please come in. Uh, you may take off your shoes inside. So where exactly did this so, uh, murder happen? Um, over here, right in the middle. Huh? Wait, were those furnitures there last night? I remember there was only... Stop spacing out and uh, show me this murder thing, you know? Ah, uh, yes, um... I mean, like, there's there's nothing there, like, I don't know. He might have cleaned up all the blood! 
he he sent me to the hospital after I passed away last night. So in it's morning already. He had plenty of time to clean up. Uh, uh about that. S sorry, Rosie, but I can't take your side for this one. He accompanied me at the hospital all night while I waited for you to wake up. The doctors and the nurses were so busy, so he was the one who calmed me down. What? Th then. S someone else could have cleaned up the scene for him. It's not. It's not impossible. Hey kid, the truth is that you hit your head and can't differentiate dream from reality, right? Let's just call it a day and move on. Cops are busy people, you know. Wait, please search this house thoroughly. Like, even though the blood's been cleaned, there might be the evidence. So if you search thoroughly, that's sir for you. Huh? I've been thinking about this. You're a pretty rude child. I'm a cop and much older than you, so call me sir. This is not a time to... I, I should have said this sooner, but... Huh? That woman, she might still be alive. When he stabbed the woman last night, she was still moving. So so he could have hidden her, hidden her somewhere alive. Oh, uh, me? 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 Uh, me? So if you're quick, you might still be able to save her. <sighs> First, you said she was killed, and now you say she's still alive? If you want to lie, at least have consistency and call me sir. Alex, let's go. We're leaving. Yes, sir. Wait! This is this room. It, it was the one I got. I hid last night. It was full of boxes, some cleaning products. He could have removed all of them. Meow. Meow. Oink. Oh, cat. Oh my gosh. Is this your cat? It's so pretty. Yes. Um, her name's Milo. What a cute name. Can I pet her? Go ahead. You know, Milo is not really fond of touch though. So, uh, what was it that you want to show the room? A cat? What's happening? Could it be that I entered another apartment last night? But the landlord told me just now that this his house was only occupied on the 13th floor. Wait, 13th floor? When I think about it, you passed out on the way to your apartment and hit your head. Then one of your neighbors found you and brought you to the hospital. If I really did fall from the 13th floor, how am I still alive? Unless all of that was... May I ask a question? Uh, were you under influence or any substance when this murder thing happened? Meds, alcohol, like, you know, like weed, um... Oh! Oh? Oh, I took medicine because I had a headache. Why? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. What kind of medicine? <laughs> okay, okay. What kind? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. There wasn't a label. Yeah, there was no label. I see. So please be careful. Don't take meds without prescription next time. <sighs> so that's it, huh? Let's go, Alex. Yes, sir. What a waste of time. I'll see you both out. Ding! Rosie, are you alright? He must be exhausted. That's why you thought your dream was real. Don't pay attention to that and just rest, okay? This is your apartment, right? Give me the keys. I'll open the door for you. Ah, it's okay. I've been open it. I can open it myself. You didn't get to sleep last night because you were talking, taking care of me, right? You should go home and rest too. Alright, if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to call me, okay? Okay, thank you. Click. I must have seen so tired. Uh, where did I park my car again? Ah. Uh, um, Mr. Adam, right? I'm really sorry for the trouble my friend has caused. She was like that because, you know, she was exhausted. Please forgive her. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll understand. Just call me Adam. 
I didn't have the chance to ask, but、uh, your name is. Ah,、uh, I'm Hawani, but my friends call me Hawa. Ha,、uh, what? She said. She said. She said. <laughs> huh? Ah,、oh, sorry. Sorry, I just thought of something funny. I'm Adam, and you're Hawa. Ah, what a coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ah, you're right. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, I gotta head to work.、Um, all right, sorry for holding up. Don't worry about it.、Uh, excuse me for a moment. A leaf. Ah 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 ah! I see. <laughs> oh, well done. Your friend is my neighbor, so、uh, I guess I'll see you around. Hawa. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. It's you, it's you. Guy upstairs. I can't stop. Let's keep going. <laughs> Ma'am. Huh? Remember last night I had a headache. What were those meds that you gave me? Some sort of a pain reliever. My friend told me why. Your friend, huh? Is it Mo is approved? Is that important? What matter is that it worked, right? Um, do you even know what they put in the meds? Uh, some sort of medical herbs, I think. Herbs. <laughs> herbs. Ah, <sighs> okay. One last question. Do you know about paracetamol or ibuprofen? Is Who's mom? <laughs> I'm reporting this friend of yours to M O H. Drop. Really? Your boss let you take a week off from work next week? Yeah, she felt bad for me that mess that gave me had bad side effect. More like I threatened her. Wow, your boss is actually kinder than I thought. All right, since you're free, should we join the department party next week? Um. It's next week, huh? Okay. Yay! I'll tell Anissa and Christine to put our names on the list. Now that I'm sure mess was the cause, I need to apologize to that guy. Man, I made quite a scene back then, didn't I? It'll be so awkward to face him in the future. You look really happy. Hmm. <laughs> you noticed? Did she want to go to the party that much? It's because. I tied my hair into a ponytail today. Okay. Okay.、Um, what? Um. <laughs> Whenever I walk, my hair would bounce on my back. See, it bounces. You see, keep your hair long again, Rosie. Then tie your hair, and you understand. Yeah. Please, please don't ever change. You know. Yeah. Huh? Rosie, oh, 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 are you alright? Do, does your head hurt, Robbie? I'm fine. Oh, I wanted to visit you, but but you never gave me your address. I was worried sick. I brought my special ointment made by my family. You want it? No,、uh, it's okay, Emma. If that's not enough, my uncle owns a clinic, and we could go to the hospital again. And、uh, I said I'm fine. Calm down. Let's do checkup again. Just just be careful. Let go of me, slap. It's nothing serious, right? <laughs> I'm glad Rosie is still energetic like usual. Um, maybe you could use that special ointment on that. <laughs> Have you seen this? Oh, that post. Ah,、uh, hello, Anissa, Christine. Oh, hi, Hawa. We put yours and Rosie's name on the list for the party. Awesome! Thanks. Let's sit there. Oh, hey, do you think it's them? Well, they fit the description. What are you talking about? Oh well, um, did you see that new post on our university's confession page? <laughs> We think this post is talking about you and Rosie. University's confession page. Oh, that Facebook page that where students send their confessions anonymously. I haven't visited that in a while. Oh,、uh, what was it called again? TPU.、Uh, it's managed by the student council. Here, see it yourself. 
I saw the girl in the business building again today. Her long wavy hair and cute face really caught my attention. Even her clothes are pretty. I couldn't get her out of my head since the first day I saw her. I wanted to ask for her number, but she's always with her friend, girl. I got so nervous. What should I do? Woohoo! Someone's got a crush. Go for it, bro. I'm rooting for you. I think I know who you're talking about. Who? Well, she's quite popular. That cute junior, right? Eh. That's discretion fit you, doesn't it? Someone has a crush on you. Nah, it could be someone else. If that person's your type, why not go for it? No, if you don't have a boyfriend currently, right? I'll never had one actually. What? Really? Never? Even though you're so popular? Well, well, I went to all girls' school, so uh... ah, that explains it. Then, do you have a crush? Ah, uh, there, they've started the girls' favorite topic of discussion. Is talking about love really that fun? It is, Rosie. If you have a crush, it is. But anonymous confession, huh? If it's really Hawa, I hope this person won't cause her much trouble in the future. Yeah. I'll be heading to work now. Are you sure you don't want to ride? I came with my car today. It's okay. I'll take the bus. You know. Rosie rarely leaves around this time. What job does she do? It's a housekeeping. Her shift depends on schedule, so it's not a fixed time. Housekeeping? She cleans houses? Mostly hotel rooms, I think. Most budget hotels don't have their own cleaners, so hotel hires them to clean. I see. But a cleaning job, huh? It must be tiring, isn't it? That's why Rosie's always tired. Ah, uh, uh, oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry too. <laughs> huh? What's up? Um, are you looking for something? N n n nothing. Huh? Anyway, you're going straight home, right? Yeah. Same here. Kind of a stalker vibe. Okay. Well then, my part of job is done. Oh. See you next week. Wait, I still need your help here. Oh, and take your trash on your way out. Okay. Mm. <sighs> Since I'm getting a week break, she piled all the work on me today. Uh, I'm exhausted. Ah. <sighs> uh. It's the guy. Good evening. Uh, oh, good evening. Was he behind me all this time? I didn't even notice. Uh, I'm fixing glasses. Jeez, why do I have to bump into him now? Just when I'm already exhausted. And this elevator is taking forever. <sighs> oh well, let's just apologize to him and get over done with. The longer I drag this out, the more awkward it'll get. Um, I'm really sorry for causing a scene the other day. I was it's entirely my fault. And uh, thank you so much for bringing me to the hospital. Don't worry about it. As long as you're fine. How's your wound, by the way? It's recovering. Thank you for your concern. That's great, then. Um, you're called Rosie, right? Hmm? I heard your friend calling you Rosie before. Oh, 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 right. Sorry, sorry. I um, I didn't, I didn't catch your name before. I'm Adam. Ding. Adam Bahiri. What's Rosie short for? Rosanna, 12th floor, right? Yes, please. Rosanna, huh? That's a nice name. He's flirting with everyone. <laughs> no, no. Don't need to force yourself to compliment my name. Huh? My name's so old-fashioned as tacky, isn't it? Not at all. I think it suits you. Are you implying that I'm old-fashioned and tacky? Rosanna is an Arabic name that means passionate. And also means for, uh, graceful rose. I think Rosa, roses really fit you. It's a beautiful name. Hmm. Um, thanks. Oh, what? 
Maybe it's just the way he talks, but uh, this guy sounds as if he's flirting with me. <laughs> Glance. That gentle way of speaking combined with that look. This guy could sweep a lady off her feet in a second if he wanted to. A dangerous type, I might say. So slow. Awkward. Alright, I haven't opened Twitter in a while. <laughs> scroll, scroll. Scroll, scroll. Scroll, scroll. Hmm? Oh! My girlfriend's missing since last Tuesday. Please contact me if you send her. <gasps> Wait. Isn't this the woman? Trip. Rosie? What's up? Your face suddenly turned pale. What are you looking at? <laughs> wow! We can stop here. We stop with the cliffhanger, you know? <laughs>